I say it all the time. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. All right, people, I just got to read something that, you know, really disturbed me, and I guess I came across this article, so I got to share it with you guys. And, you know, this, uh, is um, very disheartening. It's about my home, um, uh, a singer, a fellow R&B singer uh, by the name of um, Dennis Edwards, legendary, legendary lead singer for Temptations. Um, you know, he passed away. Uh, also, there's a lot of mysterious circumstances around his death so much to the point that I really want to share this with y'all and you know I I have some real personal feelings around Dennis Edwards Dennis Edwards is um somebody I met more than she's 20 years ago um and um in fact I've been to his home I party over there he lives in the suburb of a uh, of uh, uh, Missouri. My aunt lives in the same suburb of God, not you city. I can't even think of it. I was gonna say Ferguson. Um but uh y'all got excuse me, I got brain fry. Uh I believe I don't know. It'll come to me. Anyway, let me share this article with y'all because it's very, very freaking disturbing and um I'm sure something's going to come out of this. Okay. Now, the only thing I knew about Dennis from back in the day, um, like I said, we partied all we partied together. Um, and when I say that, um, I was part of the same culture, the R&B culture. So there's a lot of places that I found myself in, or um, a lot of situations that I might have partied with individuals that did R&B music, or maybe even been on the show with them. Open the show or something with some band or something. So, again, this stuff, this story is really disturbing me because I, I'm getting a woman in my mind. If I, well, let me, let me go on. Chicago police are investigating allegations that Dennis Epp was a Grammy winning singer with the Motown group of Temptations was abused shortly before his death. The Rock and Roll Hall of Famer inductee died at a Chicago hospital Thursday from complications of meningitis, according to his wife, Brenda Evans. He was 74 and had lived in the St. Louis area for more than 30 years. Court documents filed by an adult protective services investigator alleged that weeks before the singer's death, Brenda Edwards had abused Dennis. An investigator with the Health Care Consortium of Illinois filed the protection order request on behalf of Dennis Edwards January 12th in Chicago where the couple lived together before Edwards' death. The documents allege that Brenda had attempted to suffocate the 74-year-old by holding his head face down on the damn bed. The investigator also accused Brenda Edwards of taking her husband's hearing aids from him. What the, what the hell would you take the man's hearing aids for? According to a petition for an order of protection, the documents say that Edwards was bed bound and immobile. Oh my God. So I got to really do some um investigating, you know, sadly a lot of these people that um I knew that whew, know them, you know, they're not here anymore, unfortunately. 
But this is too crazy. I can't even um I can't I can't even wrap my arms around something so sick. Dennis Edwards was removed from the home because of medical issues, according to the January 12th document. An emergency protective order against Brenda was granted on January 18th, barring her from contact with Dennis. A hearing that would have allowed Brenda to respond to the allegations was scheduled for Friday, but now it's canceled. Uh, after her husband's death the day before. So what, she get to not even have to answer to none of this stuff? That the protective order was vacated on Friday after Dennis's death. Brenda Edwards disputed the allegations in a brief statement released Monday night. I love Dennis and we were married for 18 years. That that was her. I, I And I also saw this lady before. I, I met her before. I would have never done anything to harm him. These allegations are false and defamatory and will be proven as such. Until this is all over, I have no further comment. I know you don't. I hope this ain't no share of rights stuff. The Chicago Police Department confirmed Monday that there is an open criminal investigation into the matter. What the? F okay. Until recently, Dennis and Brenda Edwards lived in North St. Louis County. Yes, yes, yes. What is it? Um, records show that the house remains listed in Dennis Edwards' name. The couple recently moved to Chicago to seek better health care, according to Dennis Edwards' daughter, Denise Edwards. Edwards lived in the St. Louis area for more than 30 years. He was born in Alabama, moved to Detroit as a young boy, but moved to the St. Louis area in the 80s to be closer to his mom. His dad is a preacher, by the way, I believe, as well. Um, by that time, Edwards had already sung lead vocal on some of the Temptations' biggest hits. Edwards wasn't an original singer with the classic Temptations lineup, but he became the official sixth member. In 1968, he sang lead on uh, hits including Ball of Confusion. I can turn a gray sky blue. I can make it rain whenever I want it to. Remember that one? That was, um, uh, oh, I can build a castle. Uh, can't get next to you. And the Grammy women winning tracks Papa was Rolling Stone, Cloud Nine. The Temptations were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1989. In his later years, Dennis was often seen in St. Louis at the Fox Theater and Peabody Opera House when the classic soul artists passed through. I'm sure they, uh, Florissant. That's where they live. In Florissant. I'm really disturbed by this. You know, I want y'all to tell me, family. The family is working to make arrangements for a memorial service for the singer, Dean, Denise said. Survivors include five daughters, a son, and several grandchildren. Okay, family. I, you know, I'm really, really disturbed by this. You know. You know, I you know, I don't even know what to say. I think she got something to do with it. This investigation is still open, and what is going on? What you know? It's it's a scripture that says, "In the last days, the love of many shall wax cold." So wax cold. Be mothers against daughters, and daughters against mothers. You know, this is insane. You know. If he was bed bound and immobile, why would you have to kill him? What is it that you fell in love with the Dennis Edwards that it was 30 years ago and he wasn't the same man and he just got on your nerves because he was drooling? I mean, what is it? How could you do this to this? What? 
Okay, I'm jumping ahead of myself. I already know. Please leave your comments below, y'all. I really, really want to hear what y'all have to say about this icon being killed by this woman. All right. Like what you hear. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time in the mental health. Bye-bye.